Congratulations on on such a deep and and wonderful film, Richie. This is uh, this reminds me so much of great epic films like uh, Far from the Matting Crowd and uh, Tess. Uh, it, it's it's really touching on so many levels. Um, this is no easy task to, to, to do this type of work, is it? No, you know, it was, uh, it's, it's such sensitive subject matter that, you know, the, the, um, we knew that filming on location would provide the, um, the amazing exteriors and the, uh, would, would, would allow us being able to shoot in Garenon Village, this um, historic uh, preserved Black House Village we knew that that would translate on film as as a as something beautiful, um, but obviously, when unthinkable tragedy happens to this idyllic village, um, and particularly the the, the character of Kirsty, that's when um, you know, as a director, I rely on the incredible talent talented cast that we had, and and Hermione Corfield leading that cast did such an extraordinary job. And um, yeah, it was it, it, it's 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 delicate subject matter that uh, that needed to be uh, handled just so. And and I thought the entire team from the from it from the cast and then certainly the crew that that enabled us to make this film just did a, a smashing job. Hermione, I mean, when when you do a movie that takes you back into time and and all of that, I mean. Everything has to inform your character, uh, uh, the costuming, the location, the, uh, the sets. Uh, this must have been an actor's dream. It really was. I mean, um, the script itself was an absolute actor's dream. You know, she has such an arc. She has such a journey. Um, and, you know, she, as Richie said, this, this terrible tragedy happens to her. And it was, it was a real challenge to work out you know, how, how I wanted to pitch it and the journey I wanted her to have and at what point she stops fighting and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, the costumes, I mean, again, as Richie said, like having it that the team that we did, you know, the costume department, the makeup department and being able to film on Gien and Village and, and feel actually present in um, historical place really, really added to it. And it, and, and it felt, it almost felt you know, when you, when you film on location like that, if there's an element of it feeling like a play, I suppose. The character development is, is, is very, very meticulously handled. Yes, there is, there is a theatrical element to this. Uh, and Richie, let's talk about your crew because, you know, these guys are all top notch. I mean, you, you have to audition your crew, I would imagine, as hard as you audition your actors. Yeah, you know, um, this was an interesting situation for me. Um, being an American director, um, part of, part of um, the ability for, or I'd say, one of the one of the ways that these independent features get made are by the wonderful tax incentives in place. And there's the UK film tax credit. So, me being an American writer director, um, we had a few strikes against us on that, you know, kind of point system. So it was important that the entire crew be based in the UK, um, which of course that makes sense filming in Scotland. But I say that to say that I didn't, I had never worked with a single crew member. <laughs> so, um, so when I arrived, um, you know, choosing the DP, that was the number one thing on my end. And Petra Corner is an amazingly talented DP. She's incredible. And so she is really the, um, gets all the credit for, for hiring, you know, beyond the, our line producer who, who, who put forth certain, um, you know, crew member, uh, crew members for her to pick from and myself in certain instances. But Petra, uh, in terms of hiring the gaffer and, and, and key grip and supporting, you know, kind of uh, department leads uh, throughout, she did a great job there. Um, I'd say, uh, well, you didn't ask this, but back to the cast, uh, Colin Jones just did such an extraordinary job building this, this elite cast. I mean, it was incredible. I was texting uh, actually Colin this morning, um, urging him to go to the uh, Manchester screening this Sunday. Uh, the film's gonna be playing at the Manchester Film Festival. So 
he's going to try to make that. And uh, I hope he can, I hope he can see his incredible work of, you know, uh, assembling this, this, this wonderful cast. Yeah. And, and, and speaking of the cast, I mean, Hermione, you, you, you blew me away in this film. I mean, you know, first of all, everything is in your eyes. I mean, you, you just are in the right business. Uh, but this incredible cast that you get to play with uh, must have buoyed that performance up as well. Oh my goodness. I mean, everyone brought it. There, there is not a single weak link. Everyone brought 100% and did the most beautiful job. And, you know, having read the script originally, I hadn't appreciated how strong the mother-daughter bond and the sister bond is and how integral it is to the story because you've got the love story but so all those scenes with Ali and Morven you know Ali and I lived together basically so we um, got on really well so we naturally formed this bond anyway so on set we could just play and we were comfortable with each other and the same with Morven and Morven is an exceptional actress um, so working with her was again so easy we just bounced off each other and Will obviously and Mark it was just and Tom and Luke I mean I'm just gonna go on and Scott like everyone <laughs> everyone was just phenomenal so it was um, every day was an absolute pleasure. And putting this together again uh, you know <clears throat> did you feel like you were taking a chance because we haven't seen movies like this in a little while the, 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 the latest one I can think of was a couple of years ago was Wild Mountain Time uh, that really gave you these wonderful characters and, and brought you into a place we've never been before. And, and, and this does exactly that, but is there a chance that you're taking or it, do you know full well that this is gonna be a blockbuster? You know, I, I, I think there's always a chance in, in, uh, in any story that you take on. And um, I'm sure for Hermione, it's the same with any character that she chooses to embody and, and um, commit her, her, her work to. But, you know, I was taken by John Mackay's novel as soon as I read that. Um, and I, I, again, I was connected to, to that idyllic sense of time and, uh, and if community you know, that the, these villagers that kind of rally around each other in times of, of, of Kirstie's tragic, uh, well, they, they were not in, in the know of what happened there. But the, the, the lads, uh, Kirstie's love interest being sent off to war, this was something that just grabbed, <clears throat> excuse me, grabbed my, uh, piqued my interest. And um, growing up loving movies like Chariots of Fire, things like this, I just, uh, I've loved period films since I was a little kid. And, um, and so I jumped at the chance to, to do it. And, and probably, um, you know, I've, I've also worked outside of being a, a uh, writer director. I've worked as a title designer in the business for about 20 years. So um, many of those film projects that I would take on were always, there was always a chance for failure, but but I think you just kind of don't even think about that. You just say, okay, this is the next one. Uh, I'm excited, go out and do it. And we just did, we all just did our best. And I mean, it was um, five weeks of shooting, which is not a lot of time. Shooting in uh, on the Isle of Lewis, you know, we were greeted with rain, sleet, high winds, snow at times, all, all in a matter of hours. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's incredible, and I and I think that brings the best out of everyone, you know, because everyone's just like, all right, we're in it together, and no matter what their department is, and um, it is kind of like going in, into into battle uh, in that regard, but um, obviously with not the stakes of real life battle, but um, but anyway, anyway, it was it was an incredible experience. I, I I was up for the challenge, but knew that we needed to bring everything that we had to pull it off. Yeah, and it's 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 so beautiful, Hermione. I'm going to give you the last word in our uh, in our uh, conversation. What do you think audiences are going to take away from the road dance? Um, I hope that there's a resounding feeling of hope. Um, that's ultimately, I think, what the story is about, and that's ultimately why I think Richie chose the, to end it the way we ended it, um, because it's really about resilience. It's really about hope and. I suppose, a feeling that regardless of how miserable things can get and how rock bottom you can get, there's always a way up and there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. I want to thank you both for your time and thank you for this film. Um, 
Thank you. It is it is so beautifully done and and uh, um, delightfully involving and and you you guys are just uh, terrific. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Have a wonderful afternoon.